finally, finally got the old thing's really red. Extra red is what they should have called that. Finally got the intake after like two months waiting. Let's do an unboxing here one handed. So my uh, wife actually got home first and she sent me a picture and she opened it. I was like, no, don't you open that. Put Tape that back up. That's, that's my content right there. So it's a little easier to get in here since she had already apparently opened the box. That's some bubble bubble, some double bubble there. What do we got? Huh? Looks like we got a bracket, some kind of wire loom. That's funny. Some kind of adapter. A couple of bolts with some plastic grommets. It's got some clampy poos. It's kind of neat that they're pre bag is normally. You guys know how this shit goes. This stuff is not in its own bag, and then when you get your box, it's got a big fat hole in the corner of it, and guess what you're missing? Everything that wasn't in a bag. It's all right, it's all right. Okay. It's definitely different than the uh, Accord 2.0. Yeah, it looks looks familiar. All right. Apparently, what took so long were these because they had to change. Either they changed the suppliers of their silicone couplers, which I don't remember them being blue on the inside. Maybe they were. So they changed the supplier of that, and then I think in this box, I think. If I can uh, figure out how to open this one hand in here. Yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. The math housing. Thing looks gigantic. This better be the street math. That looks huge. Uh, it does not say street or race. This thing looks massive. Well, I ordered the street, so that better be the street. I don't really know how to tell yet. I'll have to look it up. This looks pretty uh, pretty large there. But anyway, something to do with either the people that made these or the material or the dyes. I don't know what it was, but this was the huge two-month holdup. I think the silicone was an excuse. Got your filter here, PRL. It's pretty nice. It's actually, I think it's a little shorter than the one you get on the Accord 2.0. Of course, your speakers. Oh, yeah, lanyard. And then the box. It's got your uh, side panel. Interesting. So I'm assuming I thought this had like a rubber seal or something on it. I'm assuming that you're going to use the factory seal. That's hmm. These holes are kind of oblong, and I know the OEM uses the. Uh, Round holes. Let me see real quick. Got to get up all up in there. Yeah, so that uh, seal right there, I guess, is what you're reusing. I'm going to end up tearing that up trying to get one of them out of there. Oh, I guess they are oblong. All right, well, shows what I don't know. All right, hey, look at her. Look at look at how stock it is. Pretty nice in there. PRL right there. Couple of screws. 
All right, that's it. It's the bottom of the box. So hopefully in the next video, man, that thing is huge. In the next video, we're going to have to look this up, install it, put a video of it, and then go rip on her. So come back and see us then. Deuces. Never mind, I'm blind. Clearly it says standard bore right there. All right, now, poof.